Howdy 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 my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading Gemini for July, alright? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to check your top right hand corner of your screen Gemini because I'll leave a link to your monthly tarot reading as well which you will enjoy. And as well let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out today, what clarity does it bring to you darling? And if you want a completely free way to support me Gemini, be sure just to give this video a like and subscribe darling, it helps out this channel more than you ever possibly could know darling and i'd love to have you part of the family so let's just get right into your tarot reading here today gemini but remember when you are consuming tarot readings on youtube check out more than just your one zodiac sign darling all right gemini check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus but anyways darling let's get into your reading today gemini we're going to be getting into three rows your first row is going to be covering your career as well as your financial situation and where that energy is going to be going and then in, in your second row today gemini we're going to be getting into your social life this could be a romantic relationship that we're tapping into uh platonic family honey just your social life and then in your third row gemini we're going to be getting into your predictions the third row is always my favorite because that's the one where we really get into some juicy details for you all right so starting out with this energy for the week though gemini we have the knight of pentacles in the back of the deck for you guys here all right what i want to be firstly letting you know gemini is not to give up here all right things are just getting started for you the momentum is building up here all right you don't see things working uh like you don't see progression right now but there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes gemini that are uh building up for you whether this is energetically for some of you gemini's there's like some planning that people are doing around you not in a, not in a bad way but it is like the sense of like uh, yeah i hear like this word of like people are plotting like i'm gonna pro probably put as the title of gemini playfully just be like people are plotting on you right now but i don't feel like it's in a bad way i feel like it's in a progression thing where it's like you know for some of you guys if you are already in a relationship or um you might be having your significant other talking to your friends getting a feel for you know you know a potential engagement others of you when it this might be in the work environment where it's like your manager is starting to ask around and be like oh hey like you know you you know how do you feel about working around gemini and stuff it's like this sense of like there's plans there's discussions going on that you're not aware of and from your perspective you don't feel like like everything's just kind of going unnoticed for you all right gemini you kind of feel as if you are kind of like some of you guys are might be uh, might be afraid of like the sense of monotony is what i hear all right so just be anticipating something popping up here to really spice up your life this week or you're going to start getting hints of that gemini all right so i like that a lot let's get into your career today Gemini let's see what's happening here we have the magician with the justice as well as the seven of cups coming in here remembering darling Gemini that we're going to be having the knight of pentacles influence on all of these cards here now all right so what I want to be firstly saying for you, Gemini, is that you your hard work is not going unnoticed here. I see commitment coming in here for you, Gemini's here. I see for many of you guys, you are constantly at the state of reflection and challenging yourself, Gemini, on like trying to figure out what more you can do, right? It's like for you, you're constantly in this place of trying to elevate yourself, trying to dip your hands in multiple uh, pots here, all right? Some of you, Gemini's, are working a job and you have 10 different hand, uh, hats that you wear, right? Where you run the floor and then you also run the back. You have the phones, you're, you know, it's the sense for you, Gemini, that you're doing so much work and it's building up to like i get like this sense of recognition like your 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 turn is coming here justice energy with that magician things are going to come into balance here but don't give up on this magician energy that's really what i want to focus in on gemini is like this is what you want to continually exude here this is your money maker this is how you get the success gemini all right this is where i want you to listen up in fact for some of you gemini's honey tap back into here so you can really get a look at this energy here you are the magician who shares in the same similarities of the messages of the representation of the seven of cups here all right so what i mean by this is that the magician but holds every single like it holds the wands the swords the uh the cups it has everything and with the seven of cups there's that variety for many of you uh gemini's this is going to be a specific sign for you to start dipping your hands in other pots as well to start exploring um 
different hobbies to see where you could get a potential new opportunity of like a you know stream of income or what have you gemini all right don't be afraid of exploring at this point in time because i feel like that's really important for you but what i really want to just be stressing before we move on and we clarify this later gemini is just know that your hard work is like your commitment to your craft your hard work is going to be paying out all right think about the scales of justice here it's like you are putting the more energy you put on your side here the universe always makes sure that debt the debt is always paid right your debt is going to be getting paid here darling all right so you want to really stack it up all right getting into your second row with your social life we have the nine of cups the hanged man which is the center of the the heart of the spread here as well as the four of cups coming in here gemini this is giving me somebody that you're dealing with as extreme that is extremely stubborn this is someone that it takes a lot for them to realize what it is that they need to do to improve right if you talk about something with them all right like a problem that you have right right where it's just like hey friend i don't like how you speak to me that way or maybe you express how you want someone to communicate more because it's like i see for you gemini there's this frustration with you with this person where it's just like they are so close to being perfect right i use that very loosely they're so close to being the perfect person companion uh, to be part of your life where you would just get along with them here right and you're commute trying to communicate to them and just be like hey there's just like this one thing that i would like you to really work on or just like this one thing that they could be doing here but they're very resistant they're very stubborn it, like it takes like they have to be sl slapped across the face with this really for them to fully understand and process like what they need to be doing next here right so it's one of those things where it's just like bless your heart it's like either they're sheltered or just a little bit thick in the head darling a little bit thick in the head here all right but i do feel as if this person is trying overall this is somebody that you're dealing with where it's just like they have potential but it's just like it's a long road to get them to reach their potential but I feel like when it comes to this connection this week here, uh, Gemini, I feel like there's something that you are going to have to address here. And we'll get into more what I mean by that with clarifiers later. So let's get into your general predictions here. You have the Ten of Cups with the Ace as well. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. And then the Ace of Swords. All right, your general predictions here. All right, this is forward momentum here, Gemini. All right, this is you honoring your ideas, chasing after opportunities here by honoring the ideas that you have with the Ace of Swords. When you have the Ace of Swords in your favor, working on your side, Gemini, that's a time where you can't lose here. All right, the Ten of Cups, it's interesting how you have this card coming in here because we did have the Nine of Cups just beforehand where it's like you end up having your cake and eating it too here gemini i see for many of you guys where it's like what it is that you've been betting on what it is that you've been hopeful for or banking on it's going to be happening all right you know some of you gemini's might be thinking that your intuition isn't really working right now because it's like you you receive like these lottery numbers and then you put them in but it's like you're not receiving anything for a long time but the one time that you like but for those that choose to honor the numbers that they intuitively got for the lottery it's like you're going to be hitting that lottery and getting paid tenfold because you stuck with you stuck with it all right that's like the main message here is just where it's just like my gemini's that have stuck with it when it comes to certain projects when it comes to certain people those who have just chose to stuck stick with something and choose to ride it out until the very end are going to be getting greatly rewarded for that here all right for the gemini's that have chosen to be to uh stand with their morals to um stand with the truth even when it wasn't the easiest here you're going to be getting rewarded here all right I get like this collective message here where it's just like there's just you might notice you know this is my own personal thing here but i kind of feel as if there's going to be i feel like things happen in waves and i feel like another weight like due to this dynamic here that i'm noticing with energies with when i'm doing these reading these weekly readings is that it feels like there's going to be like another wave of like karma sitting in where it's just like dues are being paid I don't know. That's my own personal thing. Maybe I'm just crazy. But um, yeah, I wanted to express that. 
Gemini. But let's get into these clarifiers now, darling, all right? We're going to get into your clarifiers for your career, firstly. Remembering that it was the Seven of Cups, Knight, uh, the Seven of Cups, the Justice card, as well as the Magician. Uh, back of the deck is the Two of Pentacles coming in here. Choices, choices, choices here, uh, Gemini. I'm noticing this theme where it's like all your cards for your career. It's like it's either this or that right there's so many hands that you and then you get the lover's energy here all right some of y'all are at a crossroads with your career y'all at a crossroads when it comes to your financial situation king of cups five of cups coming in here <clears throat> okay gemini if you notice that there's it's like some of you guys are noticing that there's being uh, pressure being applied to you pressure being applied to you gemini when it comes to your career pushing you uh to do more pushing you trying to push you out of the nest for some of you all right that's like the main message that i'm getting here for you gemini is like there's like this pressure a choice needing to be made an important decision that needs to be had here you can't keep going on in the way that it's been here gemini when are you going to be the uh, one to make the decision to be the writer of your own story magician energy here that's what the choice is it's like for you gemini your your call to action when it comes to your career and getting movement happening in that way is honoring this king of cups energy taking more authority here addressing your imposter syndrome addressing the the emotions that you the mixed feelings that you have towards taking that leap of faith and uh taking matters into your own hands exploring different options for how you get that the, that financial abundance here no longer playing small being more adventurous <clears throat> let's clarify your social life now Gemini, remembering that it was the Hanged Man, Four, and Nine of Cups coming in here. Oh, there's that crossroads, darling Gemini. Lots of crossroads. Like, I'm just noting, I'm, it's so interesting how it's like, to me, Gemini, so much of your life is like up in the air right now. I feel like y'all are just dealing with so much air with every facet of your life. Page of Swords. Oh, darling, Leap of Faith. Hello, I was just talking about that fool energy. And then we got that, ooh, Gemini. I love it when I'm good at my job here, okay? Page of Swords, full energy, strength card coming in here, back of the deck with that two of swords. This is the cross, this is the crossroads I was just talking about prior, Gemini, all right? And then you have the Page of Swords, full and strength energy here. This is quite literally a dynamic where it's just like you're you know what it is that you have to do and you, you're constantly keeping an eye on something and your shadow work is with strength energy the where the strength needs to be had is taking that leap of faith is really owning that fool energy it's that sense of where it's just like get either piss or get off the pot here in regards to a social dynamic here gemini y'all are being pushed to speak your truth all right, y'all have been really suppressing your truth about something, Gemini, and the more that you keep it inside, the more resentment that's going to be building up. But you're going to, this is not something that you can avoid. For my Geminis that have been avoiding um, confrontation, all right, you're going to be forced to do this, whether it's through this relationship now or whether it's a relationship three months from now, Gemini. That's the next step, that's the next lesson. For you darling all right and you, you can't skip lessons and you can't i mean i guess you could go back all right but you can't skip it this is something you're gonna have to deal with here you need to speak your truth about something stop avoiding saying your truth about something just because you're trying to avoid a potential reaction from the other side all right that's a problem in of itself if you're afraid of someone's reaction just from you speaking your truth here all right that's what i felt like it needed to be uh happened that i talked about before Getting in back into your general predictions, 10 of cups with the ace, as well as the uh, ace of cups with the ace of swords as well, rather. <clears throat> Two of swords coming back out, knight of wands, four of pentacles, chariot energy here. Choice is going to be made on your, see, this is the thing. A lot of your life right now, Gemini, is this place of where it's just like, there's no going back. 
right? In every facet, there's no going back. When you speak your truth about a situation with a person, there's no going back. The dynamics are always forever going to be changed. If you choose to change your story, take control of your financial situation more, all right? There's no going back. Some of you guys need to speak your truth when it comes to the work environment, but that's probably very few, all right? But that, that's really the message here for you, Gemini, where it's just like you're at this place, such a unique place where it's just there's no going back with every step of the way. You really are embodying that full energy where it's just like anything can go. All right. That's what I was saying. It's like any everything feels so up in the air for you right now, Gemini. It's so interesting. So much is changing for you. All right. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind, Gemini. I mean, darling, do we even really need to unpack what this represents, really? Gemini, leaving the past behind here. Speaking your truth and not being afraid of leaving something in the past after speaking that truth, Gemini. Okay. Do I need to go any further? Let's just go. Oh, let me just use. Okay. Gemini, you asked, darling. Okay. All right. You have take a breather. Last moon in cancer, or last quarter moon in cancer. Taking a breather, okay? Okay, oh, you want one more? Okay, Gemini, I'll spoil you. We'll do three, darling. Full moon in Taurus, detoxify. Take a breather, detoxify, all right? And then you have, what was this again? Leave the past behind. <clears throat> it's so interesting because it's like almost kind of implying here, Gemini, where it's like almost like some of you guys needed to have this permission to just be like it's okay to leave this baggage here it's okay to start that new life you know it's okay to push the reset button for your life regardless of how it impacts other people it's okay for you to take a stand and at a place in your life when you normally wouldn't it's okay all right gemini it's okay so, darling, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, Gemini. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you and give you clarity today. Remember, I have the monthly tarot reading linked up here if you want to check it out. Uh, as well, Gemini, if you want to book a private reading with me, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social media, TikTok and Instagram, both being simplyvelka. Same as here, darling, all right? But, but uh, hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Gemini. I love you so much, darling. Bye.